Yeah, so guys, I have more kids right here. Yeah, for the plum, of the yeah. megari. Yeah. But they use cassava, isn't it? Yeah. Really heavy. Oh, yeah. guys, I can't carry this. Oh, hey, guys, oh, this oh. is uh, a chibong in the house. Guys, um, I had a little bit of malaria, so I'm not feeling very good. But all the same, I'm right here um, in a village somewhere in Nigeria. You know, deep in there, you know. Uh, they have a traditional marriage right here. So, I'm right here, you know, participating. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit about African life and food, festivity, the quietude, the nature, you know. So, um, join me as I take you guys around. So you can have a view of what I'm seeing right here. It's really peaceful and green. And it's been surrounded by a forest, you know, all around the place. Yeah. So if you're with me, guys, let's start rolling. So there is this um, stuff right here. It's for frying up Gary, I guess. Am I right? Gary? Yeah, I think so. This is where they fry Gary. Yeah, a lot of work. So they have this fireplace made out of uh, red malt, you know, out of malt. So they stick them together and they put firewood. Um, and they fry Gary, you know. This is intensive. And those try scale. And then on the day is where they have a fire, fireplace, you know, like where you have to put the firewood, you know, to have this, uh, Massive tray doing its work. Yeah, this is a typical village life right here, guys. You can see houses here are made of a uh, mud. Yeah, you know, and um, everything you plant here grows. You know, right here you can see a uh, a okra, and over there green, the cow the live green. Yeah. And right over there, you can see some oranges, eh? They're still growing, still sprouting. So everything we plant here grows. You can see over there, they have maize. And some and palm tree where we tap uh, palm fruit used for palm oil. So uh, absolutely everything we plant grows here. And then they have this plum. You know, they call it plum pear, bush pear. You know, everything grows here, you know, of course. I'll take you guys around. So let's go back to the, to the venue of the traditional wedding. Girls right now are setting up the tent for, for their friend. Who's gonna be doing a traditional marriage around here. So they're still doing the thing. Why are the other ladies at the other end there? A cookie preparing the meal food for the day. Yeah, I'm relaxing for now. And under that is a massive pear tree, bush pear, African pear. Yeah. And right here is cocoa, cocoa tree. Yeah, you can see. Cocoa tree, cocoa grows here a lot. Open baskets and a tree for the Brighton room. Some open basket decor. Food on the fire. Ladies busy. Lot of work to do. A view from Yeah, 
The guys, that is a typical village setting. A lot of things to see. The peace, the tranquility, and nature at its peak. So here we go. We're going to the stream right now. Stream, yeah. So follow me to the stream. What's the name of this village? Oh, this village is uh, Okay, so this is Onyan, okay? Yeah, you can see orange right here, guys. Everything grows here, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this is, well, I told you guys, it's bad. Yeah, so there are many modern structures as well. A vegetable enclosure away from the chickens and this pumpkin leaves. Yeah, and this is yam, guys. This is how yam is grown. You know, from the mount. Corn and everything in between. Everything edible. Yeah. What I haven't seen though is pineapple. The only motorable way to this village is um yeah cars to come, but mostly bike. And the only source of water is uh, at the stream. So we'll be going to that stream, see how clean it is. Yeah. Nature at its peak. Not an easy one, guys. Climbing the hill, the water on your head. You have to be resistant to be able to do this. Yeah, really steep. Hard work, yeah. A lot of oranges grow, they do grow here. You can see oranges everywhere. We love oranges. And this is pineapple. Pineapple this is how it grows. But I haven't seen any yet, like fresh one. But this is how it grows. Guys, so we're on our way back. Uh, yeah, so guys, I have more kids right here. So, um, um, I'm going to make a video of them. So, so, so what, what are your names? Friday. And how about you? What's your name? Hey. Okay, and you, what's your name? Grace. And you, what's your name? Amin. Uh, and you? Success. Success, and you? God bless. God bless. And you, what's your name? Bless. And you, what's your name? Uh -huh. And you? Adede. Yeah, Friday. Your name is Adede. <laughs> and you, did you say your name? Oh, I didn't ask you your name. What's your name? And you? Yeah, I'll make, I'll make a little bit video of the plum. Because most people don't even know this. Yeah. The plum. Uh, the plum. Yeah. The pier. Yeah. Yeah, guys, right this here. is pier. Okay. This is what pier looks like. It's usually eaten with, um, with corn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a daddy there. That is. That is put in the pier. Yeah. Yeah. I, want, I want to get some pier, so. So, um, how much is it, bro? We drop that one for you, bro. Now, maybe drop the water. I forget, sir. 
So um, how much is it, bro? 50-50. 50-50? Yes. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll take all of them. So this is what pier looks like, guys. So we just went to the farm and then they harvested pier. So this is what it looks like. I wonder how good this will taste, but I guess it tastes really good. So this is what it looks like, okay? So I'm going to get this, and this is really cheap, 50, 50. You know. You want to cut it down? No, I'll cut it this one. But of course, you will give me jar now. Mm. I will even buy more, but you will give me jar. So this is 50, this is 100, 200, 300. I feel like for 500. 500. Yeah, so, yeah, guys, so I'm going to get this. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm going to get this uh, uh, pier, eh? And, uh, guys, so this is our. Um, to squeeze a uh, cassava. Is it cassava? Make gari. Gari, okay. But they use cassava, isn't it? So this is how they do it, the local way. This gari. To grind it before. Put, put, put like this and. Yeah, so this is a white cassava paste. You can see if it's uh, just like this, you know, cassava paste. So they have to. See. So this one is ready. Yeah, this one is okay, ready. so this is a ready one, yes. ready for frying. Yes. So after that, they will spread it out. No, filter. Okay, the filter it, yeah. So after filtering, then they dry it. No, fry it. You fry it then. Okay, this is how gari is made. Thank you. Yeah, hey guys, so I'm going around the village now. So let's go around together. Hello. My Kashawa. Kashawa. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Who is that? There's a cat. <laughs> Kasha, <laughs> yeah, let me go to the ladies. So. <laughs> yeah, so this is a village. Um, the ladies are making gari. Kasha, how are you? Good morning. What are you guys doing? You doing gari? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, now you're sifting it. Yeah, 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 so this is a sifting process. <laughs> that part has been dried up. So they, they sift it. So once it's sift, then that one is ready for frying. Oh. Yo, it's not, is it hard work? Yes. Oh no, I wish I could help. Thank you. I wish I could help. <laughs> Baba, we need some uh, water. Hmm? <laughs> So they're boiling water there. Hello, good morning. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, from that cash, they buy it from you. Ask him what, ask him how many in it. You know, then from that cash, mm, yes, ask him how many exactly in it and how much they are. Yeah. But if you are not, uh, if it's, you, feel you are not comfortable with the price, then you can go buy it yourself. Or if not, then you give him the money to buy. There you go. Um, see, um, the, the, okay, the last few like bow. Okay, it's bad. Um, those guys, they didn't come. Yeah. Look at that from here. <laughs> your, mama, your mother is going to be popular. She's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. 
So guys, this is how to do a cassava, to peel, to peel cassava rather, you know. Our sister here is going to show us how to do it. You know, of course, she has done already so much. This is cassava after it has been peeled. But before you peel it, it looks like this. Let me show you guys. This is with the skin, okay? She's almost done. But um, she's going to peel this one now, so you guys uh, can see how it is. See? She's really fast. She's a professional. That's right. It didn't take her long. She did all of this. Just like that. <laughs> So the cassava is ready now, it's going to be washed. Is it going to be washed? Yes. And then after that, they will, peel, they will grind it and soak it. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. So thank you very much, sister. I've seen an interesting tree here, um, calabash. Can I take a video of it? Yeah, guys, so this is a special tree. It's a it's calabash tree. Oh, is that how they call it? I don't know. But this is how it is. Yeah, it's like a big round ball. You can see it looks like a round ball. It's soft, because it's still fresh. <laughs> yeah, that's how it grows right there. But at some point, okay, it's uh, dried. <laughs> Guys, I can't carry this. Whoa, whoa, this is really heavy. It's, it's wonderful how this tree can carry such a massive, round ball of a plant yeah so these are the ones that are below growing it's really heavy sister did they eat it did they eat this no okay they don't eat it yeah she said we don't eat this it's, uh, it's just it's just for, it's just color what did they use it for for drinking of water okay so it's Please just like, like that share and subscribe